in this problem, uh, f of x is square root of x plus four and dx is x plus one divided by three. We can now find a formula for the f or g, which is the f of g of x. We consider the gx as the input. So therefore, the function f of the x, which is the x plus one divided by three, as the function of f is in the form of f of x equals square root of x plus four. If x is the input, we're gonna add the input by four and take the square root. And we treat the same way for the function that we are working on. That means we're gonna take the square root of the quantity x plus, let me write this way, and x plus one divided by three as the input. And now we're gonna simplify the radicand which is the expression under the square root. So x plus one divided by three plus four, the common denominator would be three. So make it to be divided by three, so multiply three over three. Therefore, we get the numerator as x plus one plus 12 divided by three which is x plus 13 divided by three as the radicand. And back, back to the problem, square root of x plus 13 divided by three in the square root. So we get the formula for the f of g of x. And then um, we're gonna find the domain. The domain for the composition function is consider from the domain of the input. So I'm gonna write this way. So the domain of f of g is the domain of the input intersection with the domain of the output. The input is the function g. That means the domain of the function g is the set of all real numbers. Another way we say like no restriction for the function g. And the output, which is the final result. So this is the output. And the domain of the output is whatever that the possible number we can put in for the square root, we protect the radicand, which is x plus 13 over three to be greater than or equal to zero. That tells us X has to be greater than or equal to negative 13. Now we're gonna take, I'm gonna highlight this. So from what we have, let me see. We have the domain of the output as the set of our real numbers. So over here, and the domain of the output as the real number that greater than or equal to negative 13. The intersection of these two gonna be the smaller one, which is the portion that x greater than or equal to negative 13. So we write the answer. So equals the set of x says that x is greater than or equal to negative 13. Or we can write in the interval notation as negative 13 comma infinity include negative 13 and then open parenthesis for the right end for the infinity.